Their contributions cannot be measured nor properly honored except to say a thank you and pray for their souls and their loved ones. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spanner banner yet away o'er the land of the free and the home of the Today, we gather to remember and honor those brave souls who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. We give reverence for their unwavering commitment to serve and protect our communities. Today, as we gather for this ceremony, I want to take this time to recognize our fallen heroes who have given the ultimate sacrifice to our agency and to the state of Tennessee. We can only imagine the burden that their loss has placed on their families. As we honor these fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters, let us not forget the inherent risk we take each and every day we perform our duties for the Department of Correction. As an agency, we must never forget our fallen heroes and understand our commitment to the safety of our staff our fender population and ensuring public safety. In the past hundred years plus, we have lost 21 employees in the line of duty, and hopefully we never have to add another name to our list as of today. Again, I want to thank everybody for participating and being here today and respecting those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. Um, it's truly an honor to be the commissioner and, and up here celebrating this special day. For corrections, this is this is our very, very special day, and we should never forget the names that we're going to honor today. So thank you. Yes. We will now remember the service, dedication, and sacrifice of the 21 men and women from the Tennessee Department of Correction. Correctional Officer S. A. Walden, end of watch, April the 20th, 1893, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. <laughs> Deputy Warden Willoughby Howard Nelson, end of watch, July 27th, 1894, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Correctional Officer Joseph Lillard, J.L. Sims, end of watch, March the 12th, 1937, Tennessee State Penitentiary. Correctional Officer Glenn E. Johnston, end of watch, October the 22nd, 1937, Rushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Correctional Officer John C. Arms, end of watch, 
May 10th, 1940, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Correctional Officer Dave Stewart, end of watch, November the 26th, 1941, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Sergeant Elijah Patrick, end of watch, November the 17th, 1947, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Correctional Officer Lim Heflin, end of watch, June the 30th, 1949, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Warden Dunn Kriplin, end of watch, September the 12th, 1950, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Records Clerk Joe Belvin, end of watch, November the 9th, 1952, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Transportation Officer William Lonnie W.L. Cox, end of watch, November the 9th, 1952, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Transportation Officer Ernest Messengill, end of watch, December the 6th, 1957, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Security Officer Elmer Jones Henry, end of watch March the 30th, 1972, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Correctional Officer Robert Burns, end of watch February the 11th, 1978, Tennessee State Penitentiary. Correctional Officer Ronald W. Moore, end of watch, August the 29th, 1978, Turney Center Industrial Prison. Warden Donald G. Gammons, end of watch, July the 2nd, 1984, Turney Center Industrial Prison. Assistant Warden James F. McPeters, end of watch, July the 2nd, 1984, Turney Center Industrial Prison. Correctional Counselor Debert Steeds, end of watch, January the 17th, 2002, Hardeman County Correctional Center. Correctional Officer Frederick Gale Hyatt, end of watch, November the 8th, 2003, Charles Bass Correctional Complex. Correctional Officer Wayne Thomas Cotton Morgan, end of watch August the 9th, 2005, Morgan County Correctional Complex. Correctional Administrator Deborah K. Johnson, end of watch August the 7th, 2019, West Region. We are forever grateful for the service the, these brave men and women provided to the state of Tennessee. Thank you. 
Whereas Tennessee correctional professionals who work in our state prisons, jails, probation, parole offices, and day reporting centers are responsible for the safety of the citizens of Tennessee by maintaining custody, control, supervision, and rehabilitation of offenders. And whereas Tennessee correctional professionals are required to work with offenders while encouraging them to develop skills and attitudes that can help them become productive, responsible members of society. And whereas correctional professionals are responsible for supervising adult offenders in the community while promoting prevention, intervention, and advocacy. And whereas the state of Tennessee is proud to honor the daily work of thousands of men and women employed in prisons, jails, probation, parole offices, and day reporting centers all across the state. Now, therefore, I, Bill Lee, governor of the state of Tennessee, do hereby proclaim the week of May 5th through the 11th, 2024, as Correctional Professionals Week in Tennessee, and encourage all citizens to join me in this worthy observance. So, uh, I'd like for us to just take a moment to reflect on the lives that we've lost. Just take a moment in silence as we recognize those that we no longer have with us in the Tennessee Department of Correction. Thank you. And now may the grace of God, his mercy, his love, his peace, guide us through this life as we have did what we've been called to do and remember those who have paved the way. We pray this in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. And all the people did say, Amen. Amen.